Welcome back to The Big Build. I'm Robin Clevett and you can see behind me, we're getting on real nice. The scaffold is disappearing even as I speak, which is lovely too. And also we're fitting the remainder of the windows. So that's the bifolds, the back door, and we're also replacing the last three wooden windows that were on the building. Was there anything wrong with them? Probably not, it's just their old technology. So the double glazed units are nowhere near as good as the current new ones. And also they didn't match. So let's have them out and redo them while we're doing making good and plastering on the inside and all the rest of it. Anyway, I've got one more to get out and this is just a little bit of footage of how I like to get windows out. I actually, actually enjoy it, cutting a bit of rendering off, getting the frame cut, putting it out. So let's go and get on with that now. The first job is move some of these putt logs out the way just to enable me to get them in. This V3 effectively. The next job is get this window smashed out. Now these reveals are basically finished because the render is all cracked. And you can see that they just want to fall off. So normally, you might put a cut down here with an angle grinder, but because this render is so live, means it's all ready to fall off. There's, there's no benefit. It's all got to be redone, re-rendered and made good. So we're going to just crack it out with a little home chisel, get shot of it. So these windows, when they were put in, were built in which means that they used, put a wooden tie on the side, got the brickwork to here, stood it up, put a scaffold board on to climb it up and keep it in the position, and then they built them in. I think it's one of the nicest ways of fitting windows. That's that side. Let's get this one off. A bit harder this side. We'll get that cleaned up. And then, now we're at this stage, we'll open up the inside, get these bits out, the sashes, and then we'll cut the frame out. All right, let's move some of these bits, some lots of lights fittings here. I expect they're gonna get reused. We don't like to waste anything, especially if they're good LEDs. Now, I think these windows are actually locked. And as I'm taking them out, I could probably use my hammer. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, that's locked, so let's give it a little tap. That's that one. Let's give this one a little tap. And that's that one. So those locks, you can see, aren't very strong, but you wouldn't break out from the inside, people like to break in from the outside. But it just goes, just goes to show you with a little bit of a, a push, you could have got that out pretty easily. Now I can't open these right up because you see my scaffold was in the outside there. So I need to, again, use a little bit of a brute force and pull them out with my hammer. Pull them off the hinges, once you've got one off, you can pretty much get the other one out as well. There we go. That's it. Pop him in here. There we go. Done. Put them out there. Same for this one. That's that one. Get this board out of the way there. Pull that one out. Thank you. 
a bit of brute force. That's it, number two. Now, we're gonna cut the mullion out the middle, cut through the frame, pull it out, and get it smashed out. Now, if you haven't seen these Viking arms before, these are by Worth. They're absolutely brilliant things. They're like um, like a mini acro, if you like, but they're sort of pumpable, and they can help you push things in, out, up, down, you name it. They're really good, good for leveling. They're also good for removing frames and that sort of stuff. I've put a cut through the bottom of the frame, and now it's a matter of popping in the Viking arm, clearing some mortar out the way, popping the, the Viking arm in, here we go, and winding it out, and it will hold it there as well while I get the um, fixings cut. If you can see any fixings behind, you can cut through. In this case, it's just going to keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it away. Look at that. Bring the camera in a bit closer for that. see how she operates I sort of just wind her up like that let her off nice and gentle or you can let her off fast and then you can pull out this one this jam will pull out nicely then there we go so here's the frame ties you can see the frame tie there and also here, so they were nailed on the side of the frame and then the frame was built in. That's why you see the mortar groove here and basically the seal's also been bedded so pulling out the seal at the bottom can sometimes be difficult as well. So we'll do the same on the other side. We'll get the Viking arm in. Let me just try and reposition. Here we go. So we've got a cut here, we cut the angle like that so it will pull away basically. And then we want to try and squeeze him in. It's a bit tight here, let's try to get him in the middle there. Start it off with the hammer. That's it, we'll get him in. And also, check these out, these are false widows. These little spiders down here. Try and get a close up of these little big little. See, they've got this like skull on the back. And these are the only venomous spider we've got in the UK. Not very happy today. Well, there's two of them there. Let me have a look. There we go. There we go. Let's try and make him see his back. Let's just get him moving again. Come on, mate. There we go. He's made a ball. Anyway, we don't want him there, do we? So, it's a matter of just squeezing, like so. That's lovely, that is. And you can see how easy it is. It's perfect. It just pulls it straight the way out, away from the head. So that's the sides out, and that's the head out there. And now it's a matter of getting the sill out. Now the sill has got a groove in the back and a window board, and the window board is obviously in the groove. And because it's bedded on mortar, it can't just slide out. I've got another one of those big fat spiders here. These are, these are like prehistoric, these things. Come and see this, Ed. Come and see this. 
Hey, look, look at his body, look. Oh, he's got big. He's a biggie, isn't he? Look. <laughs> no, that's a big, that's a big in that one. Oh, no, nah, he's alive. He's just he's just playing dead. Anyway, he can go into our bucket with the rest of them. Yeah. So what we need to do? Sorry about the spider. What we need to do is carefully cut through here and ease it out, basically. So using a recip, this one's on its last legs, really. But we can probably get back to the front. Let's just try and get through here. And that's it, we'll basically loosen it up now, give it a little tap. I might take the front off it to get to the edge. I can just use that claw of the hammer now, straight in the back here, and pull the front off of it. I'll do that again. I'm gonna take that bit off there. Now, that gets me back to the mortar. A lovely knot in there and then we can just ease it out now section by section this boy this one will do a bit more of the recip She's free. There we go. We've freed it now. And we can get him from there. That's it. This is a good section through of what's going on here because we've got the... You can see, if I come in a bit closer here, you can see where the sill this is in joinery, they used to always do this, put mortar grooves in. There's a drip at the front, obviously. And then there's a series of mortar grooves, you can see these. And so when they're bedded in, they're locked in. We don't do that anymore. People form apertures, put windows in, foam fill them, face fix them, and all the rest of it. So this is a preferred method, but you really don't find that anymore. But when I started my time in joinery, that's all we did. We had wooden frames, whether hardwood, softwood, painted, polished, whatever, they'd get built in at the time of brickwork, believe it or not. So that's it, we'll get the last of that out and then we are done. We're free now. That's it. And that's it. Let's see how those guys around there are getting on. So the guys are just gasketing up the last of the units in the bifolds, and then they'll take all this white protective stuff off. And that's it. The door's done. Is that all finished? That's all finished. Excellent, mate. This is Tristan. He's out here helping us today doing the windows. Look, you can say that. Hi. Hi, Harry. Hi, Bobby. There you go. Just <laughs> said hi to his boys. I like a bit of that. I like a bit of that. Anyway, so that's basically the windows done. I'm just going to show you a couple of extra ones that we managed to get in here. Let me just get the camera. I'm in front of the camera. This is bizarre because I can't see the image. But behind me on this gable, yeah, we formed a couple of windows as well because the gable was a blank gable. It's a little ensuite bathroom. And we just thought that would be such a nice feature. Looking all the way down the land is absolutely beautiful. So there you have it. There's the windows going in. We've only got two more that we're putting in. So the one I've just removed. And then they'll all be done. And this is the big build looking glorious now. Scaffolds disappearing as we speak. Thanks for watching. Check back soon.